It's me. We haven't talked in a while. Hi. That's it, really. I have had a really rough week. I haven't been able to edit a video. I have a couple of Phasmophobia videos. I have a couple of Lethal Company videos coming out. I've been streaming twice a week over on my Twitch. Go check it out if you haven't. I've been trying to post more YouTube videos. I've been trying to post more shorts and TikToks. And this is one of those weeks where chronic illness gets me. I've had migraines all week. I've had endo pain all week. So it is what it is. You know? There's no way I'm going to be able to completely finish a Phasmophobia video or a Lethal Company video or anything like that. This is a video I've been trying to do for like the past two weeks or so. It's a game called Botany Manor and it looks really cute, looks really cozy, and honestly I kind of need cozy right now because I feel like sh I am breaking out. Don't mind the pimple patch here. My hair is kind of yucky. I'm literally in my PJs. I'm in my PJs. These are my twilight pants. They're comfy, okay? Don't judge me. Also, I like Twilight. It's, you know, whatever. And we're chilling, okay? We're gonna play this game. It's supposed to be very cozy, and I ain't cozy. We'll, we'll hop right into it. I will say, I've been looking around. There's a lot of accessibility options. I like that. There's also a motion sickness thing, which I really like. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this. This game comes out April 9th, so in just a couple of weeks. I get motion sick with some games, uh, so we'll see how it goes, but uh, I don't know if I said it or not. It's a puzzle game, it's like a cozy game, it's like right up my alley. And you know from my Nancy Drew experience that I do love a good puzzle game. And we're gonna go ahead and press play. Alright, look around here, walk around, alright I do need to turn sensitivity up just a little bit all right and this is this all right I feel pretty good about that and we've got a book over here Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I hope you've had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated. Though I can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much. Alright. And there's a package. Oh, how nice. I love that already. Forgotten Flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Arabella, you're in this game? I thought you were from Baldur's Gate. You you in this game? Uh, dear Arabella, thank you for once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you've completed your research, and we'll be in touch with a potential offer. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Grounds, ground floor, first floor. Okay, let's get to work. Um, what do I do now? Uh, we go out the door. Is it supposed to be foggy in here? I think it is. It's very foggy in here. It must be it. It's a greenhouse, so I guess so. I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory, but I'll need to research its temperature requirements first. Okay, well, let's take a look here. Potting instructions, place pot in saucer, uh, add soil to pot, plant a seed, water the seed. Wow, I don't know if I can uh, remember all of that. But we need, okay, so we need to, it said we need to do research on what now? What do we need to research? Research its temperature requirements first. Okay, so we've got that thing that gives our temperature. Oh, we've got this here. Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. I can barely see. Alright. Postcard, postcard from Marianne. Dearest Arabella, on my hike I came across the windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me that the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements that requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. So it grows in Sicily, and that's the flower we're growing. Important clues get added to the herbarium. Okay. 
uh, we get our postcard, and that tells us that it grows in Sicily. What is this? Open heat vent. Alright. So, let's see. Sicily. What kind of flower is it? Uh, what is the name of this flower again? Can I add all of these things? And does it give me an answer? Hold on. Windmill wart. So it's a volcanic flower. And it grows in Sicily. Uh, so 60 degrees Celsius is what it needs to be at in here. So now, we come over here. And what is our temperature set to? So I think it needs to go up. Sixty. What does this do? If I hit this, does it release the heat now? Okay. What's down this way? Oh, I can't see. All right. So I think. Oh, that's just sparkles in the pool. So now I should be able to do that. What does it want me to plant? Add soil, plant, and then water. How do I plant it? Plant, water. What do I do with it? Uh, do I put it somewhere? Windmill wart. What do we do here, buddy? Do you go in here? Oh, do you go in here? Is this where you go? I don't think you go in here. I feel like I'm missing a step here. Am I missing a step? Do I, oh, you go here. Open heat vent. There we go. Hey, it's growing. I don't think plants grow that fast, but it's grown. All right, this is cute already. This, this puzzle was not too difficult, but that might just be because it's the first puzzle. And here we go. Now it's nice and clear in here. Nice. Look at it. It's so pretty. The windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees. Uh, the bud contains air purifying qualities, so this flower can filter its environment from dense smog. That's so nice. So I think we'll only get to see these things. But honestly, if this is all that the game offers... We might play this whole game because this is really cute. We grew our little flower, and I assume we just keep it there, and now we can leave. Look at that. It just cleared all of the f smog up. Was it that smoggy just inside, or was it that smoggy outside, too? Because if it was just that smoggy inside, like, yeah, it seems like there's a smog problem outside, but I don't think that the, that one flower got rid of all the smog. Let's look around here. Got some pebbles. Oh, we got a, a book here. Drawing from nature. How do I, uh... I can't open it, or... Why can't I open it? Okay. Well, I'm sure that will be relevant here soon. Can I run? We can run. Doesn't appear to have anything over here. All right, so, whoa, the music just got crazy. This is very nice, honestly. This makes me feel very cozy. Oh, that's the manor, how cute, okay. I wanna get over there. I wanna get over there. Uh, well, is there anything down this path that I need to look at first before I go to the manor? Because I do want to go to the manor, trust me. Don't get me wrong, I do want to go over there. And we can't go outside, obviously. Currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. That's me, I'm Arabella. What's this? I got a key. Alright. Uh, anything else? Nope, looks like we're all good. Maybe we did need to come down this way first to get the key. 
Look at this. It's so pretty. Like, ugh. I don't know. It just, stuff like this reminds me of my travels. And like, I think this is a Victorian English house. The music is very loud for me. I think this is like a Victorian English house. I think that's where it's set in, is Victorian England. And like, I don't know, I just love this. I, I, England is one of those places I definitely want to go visit uh, on my travels. Let's see, let's go. Uh, you know what I always say? I always say, go left first. Always go to the left first. Um, I don't know, I think that human nature, the majority of us are right-handed and so we're predisposed to going to the right. Walking stick. My dear friend, good luck on your trip. I would have loved to join you, but like in our younger days, I would have liked to join you like in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice when we meet, when we next meet. I will never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you take the authority of others, whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see it. For ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I am inspired and look forward to hearing about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. So, we always go to the left. That's that's what I always say. We go left first, and then we'll go to the right. Orchard! I don't know. I think because... Okay, so we need a key. See? I think humans... Uh, I think a lot of us are dominantly right-handed. And I don't know the psychology. I don't... Uh, like, I don't, I don't actually know if this is a thing or not. I just always choose the left because everyone I know always wants to go right first. Go against what society tells me to do. Whoa, okay. So we've got a little fountain over here. All right. What do we got? Oh, this is a uh, entrance to the manor. We're just kind of getting a lay of the land here. I don't know where all exactly the demo will let us go. Is this locked? Yeah, that's locked. Okay, so I think we have to go into the manor. Okay, we found another uh, gardening area. Look, it's a duck. It's a duck. Oh, hi, little duck. Is this locked? Oh. Whoa. Oh my. Okay. This is cute. Okay. Lady Arabella Green, I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete, carefully tracing the history of your lineage. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family, rather than their current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. That's cute, but I wonder if, like, why she would request that. But I do love that. I guess probably for, you know, a puzzle. Alright, so we got a little family tree here. Isn't that cute? Where are we at? Have we... We've not married. Arabella is not married. Yeah, Arabella, we not married. We single... All the single ladies. And uh, we got this damn tree. Uh, I want a tree in my house. Uh, issued for first class. Elderly discount applied. 1890. July 1890. And we're how old? 1835. So that would put us at 55 years old. That was some quick math. Holy heck, Emma. Let's let's take a look here. We've got the compost bin over here. Um All right, let's take a look at this letter. My dear Sarah Bella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. J time has indeed passed, and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavors. I look forward to hearing about your progress, and of course, let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Okay. Okay, so we're, we're going to be potting a couple plants in here, it looks like. So we've got a letter from our sister. We've got a family tree here. Um, let's take a look. 
I came across the Fulgaria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. All right. Seed packet location, Grand Staircase. Oh, something shiny. There we go. There's our seed packet. Okay, we got our seeds. So now, what do we got here? Uh, a photograph. Camera experiment one. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. The picture looks a little blurry, though. I'll have to investigate the camera settings. Okay, this one's clearer, but it's way too dark. Experiment number three, the picture is so dark, possible to see the flowers. I can't believe how quickly I've run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. Oh, here's a good one. Very pleased with this picture. It looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera. Yeah, that's a nice one. Um, okay. So, oh, we got a picture here. She's got like a little plant or something on her. All right, let's take, let's come out here. Let's take a look at our book. Uh, yep. Yeah. Plant that, and then water it. What exactly am I... I came across it. Uh, I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. Okay, so we've got photographs. That's it. What else do I need? Well, there's nothing else I can see. Nothing else I can, like, look at. I've got this tree here. Maybe I'll put it in front of the tree. I don't know. Let's just see what happens, you know? In a thunderstorm. Can I put it outside in like a, a fountain or something? I don't think there's a place to put it out here. Oh, I can inspect it. Oh, that's all it does. Okay. Let's go look at these pictures again in here. Let's set that down. Okay, so, okay, this is a series of pictures. This one, it's blurry. This one's just right. This one... Is there anything I'm getting from these pictures? Hmm. Oh, is this a door I can open? Hey, a door I can open. Oh. Stuff to put in here. Okay, hey, come here, come here little plant. Alright, this is our, our friend here. All right, you're going on the table. I gotta read some stuff. The art of painting. Okay. Anything over here? No. Okay, now we've got all of these things. Oh, dining room. Okay. Anything, uh, any clues? I'm just a silly guy. Okay. Um, some ancient Celtic tribes practiced a coming of age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods, though not just any flower, of course. The gatherer had to find a fulgaria, for this flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Okay, so we have that now. Which definitely means that the little the little chime that we're hearing is like the uh, is, is the is a clue. Arabella and Elizabeth. Oh, that's our sister. There's no other doors in here, so I assume we're probably about to get like a recipe for flash powder. Flash powder. Bottle contains 57 grams of flash powder. Flash powder. Chemical composition, potassium and magnesium, two to one ratio. So two to one ratio, potassium and magnesium. All right. Uh, Lady Arabella, these past weeks, I have been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely I, as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this. And if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Farmer Charles. You know what, Farmer Charles? Keep your nose out of my business. Oh, we got this here. Some spectacles. Your new lumen photography uh, flash lamp. Fill the container with flash powder. Close the container. Press the button connected to the camera and the lumen lamp, flash lamp. Witness a bright flash. 
All right, time to go get our plant. Where do we leave it? In here. Here you are. Hey, Fulgaria. All right, you go here. You go right there. And then we need some flash powder. Two parts potassium, one part magnesium. All right. Uh, let's see. One, two, one. And we're going to take you. This goes right in there. Fill the container with powder. Close the container. Press the button connected to the camera and the lumen flash lamp. Witness a bright flash. Close it. And then take the picture. There we go. Look how cute. Oh, we did it. How cute. Only grows during thunderstorms, where the flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its uh, beauty. Alright. There we go. Now, we are going to do this thing. Rose Garden. Alright. Gatehouse Delivery! I was about to say, how the hell are we going to get this Rose Garden key? Time to go running. I am in love with the soundtrack already. It's very sweet and nice. I love the soundtrack. I feel like this is one of those soundtracks that I'm going to absolutely just listen to constantly. Oh. Is that it? That's all the demo? It was just the two puzzles? That was really cute. I thought we'd get a couple more puzzles. Well, all right then. Well, that was that. I didn't expect that to be so short. Uh, I thought it would be a little bit longer, honestly. I was in love with that. I think that's really cute. It comes out April 9th, so I might play more of that, honestly. I really like this. It pepped up my mood. The sounds were amazing. The puzzles are really, really easy and simple, um, but really fun and kind of like, you know, make you look around and find stuff. But honestly, just to like play and vibe with, this looks really cool. I know it's coming out on PC and I think it's coming out on Switch. I don't know if it's coming out on any other platforms, but uh, hey, yeah, that's, that's that. But I feel a little bit better and you guys get uh, content from me. So it's a win-win for both of us, right? <laughs> Anyways, if you want to see more games like this, I do have a VOD channel where I've played some Nancy Drew games and I would love to play more Nancy Drew games if that's something that you all would be interested in. I am totally down to play more of this game when it comes out in a couple of weeks. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like me and if you don't like me then that's your own fault and I don't know what to tell you because you just watched this whole video. So that's on you. Anyways, comment below what your favorite kind of flower or plant is. I would love to hear. I don't know a lot about plants. I don't have a green thumb. So tell me about your favorite kind of plant. I will see you all next week. Bye bye.